Hi guys, welcome to my very, very first ever YouTube channel video. I'm doing this with gold bronzy. The fact that my nephew Aiden has cancer and since it is September and it is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, so we're doing the I Never Give Up campaign. It is the I-N-E-G-U challenge. So I'm challenging all of you out there to go ahead and write an I on your hand and N-E-G-U and post up a picture and tag five friends or anybody um, that you want to challenge him and hashtag I-N-E-G-U. He is on his last round of chemo so we wish the best for my nephew. Go, 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 go. We're gonna start with priming the face because I've already moisturized. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the Cover FX Cover FX Priming Blurring Primer. So just a little bit of that, and we're gonna put it all over the face. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and prime the eyes with just flat, like fluffy brush. Any flat, fluffy brush will do. Mine has taken the worst of it all. But we're gonna go ahead and use a Beach Cosmetics Smooth Canvas uh, Longwear Shadow Primer. And we're just gonna buff it in all over the eyes with the brush. Stop, you couldn't hold you back. You're so real. So I really love these brushes that it comes with because I love me a good fluffy brush. So it comes with a fluffy brush. It's so pretty. And this is by Alamar. It's so good for blending. Goes with a flat liner brush and a good concealer brush. Love, love this box so much. I'm so excited to be able to use it today. So, for first off, on to my eyelids in the transitional area, I'm going to be using the Morphe 25A palette in this and you can see it it's like a light a really light tan color and I'm just going to put it right here in the transition area Once they break through your skin there's no way to get them all out When it feels like rushing into your soul It's pretty vulgar nightingale eyeshadow palette I'm going in with this dark brown right here I want something a little bit more tapered The Y18 brush by Morphe Get in that crease. 
Okay, so now that we're all blended out and good to go, and it's a messy wouldn't it? I'm gonna go in with the Morphe concealer in honey, and then she just comes like a little stick like this. That way you can see it. And I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush. A flat concealer brush. And this one is from BH Cosmetics at number nine. So just like that, like so. Next up on the eyelid itself, we're gonna go back in with that 25A palette with the gold color right here. You thought we swatched it. And I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy, fluffy, a, f a flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with the the Lexi 227T brush. This comes from my other Bexy charm. And I'm just gonna take that and pack it on all over the lid. Like so. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And we're gonna take it this top color here. Press it in. There we go. Much better. That's a highlight right there. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Inklot Gel Liner. And I'm kinda going to just like smudge it out all over the lid. We can give it a nice smoky effect. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Y21 brush. Nice and flat. Dip it in like so. Just stamp it on it. So this look, we will kind of want it to be messy, so that way we can smudge it out. So next I'm just gonna go in with an angle flat brush and I'm just gonna take a black and smoke it out. Flutter Lash Irresistible Lashes, my ultimate favorite right now. They're just bomb.com. They're so good. I feel like anybody, anyone and everyone should get these lashes because they're just that good. And they're not like super pricey. I think for like the whole pack of these, like all mine is like 10 bucks for three lashes and they come like 
is beautiful. I'm gonna go in with my dual eyelash adhesive. Make sure there's a good amount of glue because we're gonna be wearing these all night long. Make sure it gets tacky for at least like 60 seconds. Don't ever blow on it because it's really unsanitary. Let's put on lashes. Get your lashes and go like this. That, or you can get the box and just. Okay, so now that lashes are good to go they're on i'm going to go back in over with that angled brush and bring out the black a little bit more because the lashes kind of took over a little bit the NYX liquid liner matte liquid liner and just to go back in and cover up any glue that might be showing on the lashes like so. okay so now that my foundation is done I'm going to go back in and contour with a Cam Von D shadow plus light contour palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Morphe Y5 brush. It's kind of a fluffy but flat brush at the same time. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna take these two colors right here. And I'm gonna start kind of right here, like where the, the top of my ear meets down. Bam. I'm just going to take a little bit of that middle color and dust it on here along the top. I don't have a big forehead, but I know my baby hairs get kind of funky, so I just blow on that in right there. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze out my face with the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer, my ultimate fave in bronze. And I'm gonna blend it all over. I kinda wanted to do this before contouring because of the fact that I want it to be a real nice glowy look. So, put that on last. Drag it all, all across the face. Along the forehead. The side of my face. Nice and glowing on my chin. So next up, I'm actually going to be taking the Mariah Carey from MAC in my Mimi. So it's kind of like a bronzy highlighter, which I love. It's one of my favorites. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and take this Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush, and I'm gonna use that to dust it on all over. I have to put one all over to make it real glowy. Glow. It's like one of my go-to like highlighters right now. I just dust it on all over. So next up, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter from the Amarizzi. That's so pretty. And then I'm just gonna put that on with a highlighter fan brush. And the Morphe Y13 fan brush. Yes, I love it. I just went back in and set my face a little bit with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Honeycomb 20. As you can tell, I've been using that every day. Just packing it on. I'm just gonna use whatever's left on here. Put on highlight. Everything. I'm gonna continue the eyes. Go back in with that ink lot gel liner. And I'm just gonna grab a any eyeliner pencil will do. I'm gonna get it and dip it into the gel liner, like so. And we're gonna just put it on all over inside the waterline. Oops. Okay, if we go outside the water leaf, we're gonna smoke it up right now anyways. So I kinda wanna bring it down. That same angled flat brush, and I take the black and go ahead and smoke it all out. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild mascara. It's a max volume mascara. No, it's like this. this. Is there a plus one? I love it. I absolutely love, love the brush because of the fact that it all separates my lashes and I have really tiny lashes on the bottom. It just makes them look good. So I'm going in and blend lashes together. Done. Everything's good to go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set in with my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. And because for this being my very first video, thank you guys so much for joining me. I am actually going to go ahead and I'm going to actually go ahead and we're going to be rocking the gold look today. Ooh. So I'm using the Kat Von D, um, a 10 year anniversary collection, the gold school liquid lipstick. Goddessy look with a hint of pinks and glowiness to it. But thank you so much for tuning into my channel, and it's my very first video. So, subscribe, like, turn on those notifications, and let me know what 
you'd like so that way we can put it up for you.